Hello, so we're back and this time we have a customer job, a Lenovo ThinkPad E5A0. So check here, yeah? i7 agent and Radeon graphics. This is a nice laptop, right? Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Now let's plug a charger. So plug in the charger and you can see on the USB C check there. Five volts and like zero amps. So it's non negotiating the the voltage, yeah. The input voltage. We should have 19 there, 19 volts. So uh, we can say this laptop is dead. Let's open the laptop quickly and try to have a look inside. So the laptop is open. Well, we have nothing inside. We don't have battery, we don't have RAM memory. Even the Wi-Fi card is missing. Yeah, this laptop is part from a job load. We don't have the BIOS battery. So what we can check before we are starting, let's be sure this is not a waste of time job. Huh? We've been there, we know how it is. Let's check the coils, let's check the main power rail. So the main power rail, zero, and this here is fine. Yes, yeah, so the main power rail is not shorted. No, it's not shorted. The coils, good. 26, four ohms. Okay, this is the GPU, okay, it's making sense. Four ohms. Ten, good, 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 and this one good. Okay, so you know what? The board is looking fine. I mean, I can't see anything wrong on this board. Now we have to find the PD controller and see what's going on there. So let me take the board out because probably it's on the other side of the board. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, remind me next time to take out the keyboard first. So the power button is on this board. You know what? Everything is looking fine. Huh? So what is the next step? The next step is to find what's wrong here and first we have to check the voltage on the IO chip. We should have 3.3 volts on the IO chip. Yeah? So let me plug the charger. Okay, let's get a multimeter and try to find the 3.3. I said we should have some capacitors around this chip, like this one, yeah? And here we have zero. Yeah, the multimeter is working. So here is zero volts. Here is zero volts, you can see. And here is zero volts. So basically we have no voltage on the EC chip. And the question is why? So I'll unplug the charger, I'll switch the multimeter on the ohm bridge. Let's see if, if the main power is shorted on the, around the EC chip, and it's not. And it's not shorted. And it's not shorted. Okay, that's strange. Let's come with the power supply because I cannot trust the multimeter. I'll switch the power supply to 3.3, around 3 volts. Let's see what the power supply is saying. So here is taking 30 milliamps, which is about right. And here is ground. Yeah, it is ground. So 30 milliamps is normal for the EC chip. So we know the EC chip uh, is looking good. 
So what do we have to find is the 3.3 volts power supply. Where it is that power supply? Wait, why that resistor is looking that weird? Is not is not looking weird to you that resistor? Yeah, it's burned. I can't believe. So it, it's what like a ten ohms resistor. It has a hundred fifty ohms. I don't know. For me, it's looking burned. It has a bur burn mark on it. Check there. So that resistor is burned, or it, it does how it's supposed to be. Ten R. I believe it's ten ohms, right? You show me like a hundred fifty ohms. So what we are doing on this case, on this case, we are checking we ground before and after the resistor. So here we have 84 ohms and here we have nothing. 84 ohms is not a low resistance. 84. Okay, so I believe this track is coming from the, from the charging port, right? Okay, let's plug the charger and check the voltage. So I plug the charger and here we have nothing. Okay, that's cool. Here we have nothing and here we have nothing. I mean, what we are doing wrong here? Huh? Because this track clearly is coming from the charging port, right? And on the charging port, we have at least six, five volts. So we should have five volts there, right? Maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Okay, let's have a look here then. So from the charging port, the power is coming here, right? No. It's coming here, right? No. Okay, so where the power is going from the charging port? Anyone knows? No. Okay, let's unplug the charger. Switch to BP mode. Let's see what is here. So here is no short. Here is no short. Here is no short. Here is no short. You know what? Call me crazy, but I believe here we are dealing with a faulty charging port. Huh? What do you think? Wait a second, so we have a bent pin there, eh? You can see that bent pin? This one. But the problem is the other pins are looking fine. Let me see from the other side. From this side we have the same, wait. One pin is missing one here. This pin is bent here, you can see it. But I'm not sure if this is a reason why this port is not working, or the, why this motherboard is not working. Here are missing like two pins. So we can, not, we can use the charger only on one side. But only on one side. Wait, even this one is bent a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so I believe one of these is plus. We have a plus on the other side. And this pin is bent. This one, check there. Huh. Let's try one more time because he bent back that pins. Let's see one more time. We still have 5 volts. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. And here we have nothing. Okay, so it's working only on this side. 
So we know we have a faulty charging port, yeah? Okay, so what you will do on this point, you will order another charging port, right? But how do you know the charging port is, is the only problem? Hmm? How you will know? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the power supply, and I'm going to come with 5 volts, yeah? Exactly where 5 volts has to be, here, I believe. And I'm looking on the power on the power meter. So check that it's taking 2.2 amps and the voltage is 19. You can see, check on the meter. And now the voltage is keeping with 19. Hmm? So you understand the issue. The issue is uh, it will not negotiate the, the voltage without the power on the EC chip. So that's the only way to test. Yeah, we have no voltage. So these 19 volts are uh, being stopped here. Yeah, I'm not going into the board. No, nothing, zero volts. So you understand uh, how you check? You ignore the plus, yeah? And you just try to power on the AC chip. As soon as the AC chip is on, it will speak with the PD controller. You see, we have 5 volts, okay? Let's come with 5 volts, yeah? Only with 5. On uh, where it has to be 5, because the 5 volts has to go here. The voltage is getting negotiated, the voltage rise to 19, and then I will have 19 here. So let's come with 5 volts here. And you can see the meter is going uh, down and it's coming up. We 19, you can see. So now it's taking no current from the meter. It's taking current from my power supply. Check that, it's taking like 100 milliamps. And now I can even switch to 19. Let me switch to 19. On the same point, yeah, on the same spot here. The charging port smoked, lol. I got scared. The charging port is hot. Did you see that? Did you see that smoke? Let's try it one more time. Let's see. He's not doing it. Come on. Maybe the charger has to be plugged. Let's plug only the meter without power. Yeah, check that, check that, 3 amps. We need more current. 4.4 amps. Yeah, check, check the smoke. Check the smoke. You can see the smoke. Oh, you can't see it. Yeah, the meter is coming on without the, without the power. <laughs> yeah, now it's not short anymore. No, now it's not short. We fix it! We fix it! 19 volts, 600 milliamps. That's mean my board is coming on. Ha <laughs> ha. You see? You see? What did I told you? You smoke the board a few times and you get it working. Now I don't have to replace the charging port because the board is working and I can, you know, just charge the customer for a well done job. <laughs> Let's see if the, if the CPU is on. It's on 0 0.8 on the CPU. We have uh, here, probably this is the boosting one. Here we have one volt. Here we have uh, nothing. Here we have nothing. And no, no, the board goes off. The board goes off. The board goes off. Okay, let's come with the laptop. Okay, so I, put the, I just plug the, the power button. I'll plug the charger. I still have 19 volts on the, on the charger. I'm not sure if you can see. Let me, actually, I don't have to press the power button because the laptop is on. Because there is no BIOS battery.
It's no RAM memory. Come on. Why no one told me it's no RAM memory? Let me plug a RAM memory. Uh, no freaking way. I can't believe I forgot the RAM memory on that laptop with the... You remember the Dell with the... The Dell with the, with the burn board. You remember? I forgot the RAM memory there because it was missing. Just give me a few minutes because I have to open that laptop to take the RAM memory. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got the RAM memory. Now plugging back the charger. It's working great, you know, every time, you see? 19 volts. Uh, the laptop, it is on. Because it's the battery, the BIOS battery is not plugged in. The laptop went, uh, yeah, it's on, it's coming on. 1.1 amps and it's working great. Huh? Working? Yeah. Okay, so the long story short, every component has a black smoke inside. Soon as you take the black smoke from the component, the component will work again. Some people call that black smoke. I prefer to call black karma. You remember the black karma with the TV? I took out that video because you remember the black karma video. Okay, great, fantastic. Now, just leaving the joke on one side, uh, what you eat, what is to learn from this video is how you check if the board is good without replacing the 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 charging port i mean we done it before you, you remember i have a, i don't know if i published that video one second no i didn't publish that. yeah i did i did yeah the lenovo same same laptop and uh, you know what it's same customer anyway i replaced the charging port because the, the the laptop came with a precise description yeah of the job uh, charging port replacement we replaced the charging port and we had like zero ohms on the chipset you remember but that's the way how you can check um, before replacing the port. Why I didn't check last time when I replaced that port? Because th this customer is not a normal customer. It's a customer which is dealing only with laptops. Yeah, And uh, I assume he probably tests with a different battery. He tests and the board is working. And that's the reason why I replaced the charging port on that one. But I will not do the same mistake again with this particular customer. That's the reason why you can check before replacing the board. You know? uh, of course, I will order the charging port. Indeed, the board is working. So now I know for sure uh, the charging port is the only problem with this uh, laptop. And I'll replace it. Yeah. What can I say? I just wish you have a beautiful weekend. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.